Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing uh, Epson's brand new LCD projector, the TW7100. This mid-priced, perhaps even budget-priced projector is an example of how good things can be in this 4K domain. Uh, it's a compact projector with great optics, great features, um, some excellent brightness, uh, great lamp life, all of these things that people look for. And uh, without further ado, let's have a look. So Epson's box, pretty straightforward. It gives you an impression of the size of what's going to be inside. This is certainly not a colossal projector. It has some very basic uh, white printing on one end to create a, a, a pictorial of the product. Some basic information about HDR and ISF calibration, 3D, those types of things. On the top, very, very basic. And on one end, it's got model and serial number information with the scan codes. It's worth mentioning that these serial numbers are actually in a little handy um, uh, sort of sticker you can remove. So should you want to put that on a manual or something and hide it away somewhere, you've got its serial number within easy reach. Uh, there's a little bit of compliance on the other end. Now as far as opening this, it's really straightforward. Um, it's a classic um, sellotape cross top. Um, this particular one has decided to have, you know, leave me with a little bit of sticky stuff. Once you sort of open the lid, you get an understanding of the care that Epson has uh, has given for such a relatively cost-effective product. Um, firstly, it's got a massively long IEC power cable. I would say this is about three meters long. Um, nice tight fit in, so it's not going to slip out. Um, it means, of course, that this gives uh, people a number of options as far as its location, or just tuck all the extra uh, up in the ceiling. It's got a set of uh, AA batteries and Epson's remote control. Now this is a good sized remote. I'm actually always very impressed with them. And uh, like uh, all of the Epson's, it's got um, on and off as separate buttons. Kind of handy. As well as the ability to access and manipulate all of the uh, features of the projector um, on the remote control. There's a cardboard sleeve which held nicely all of those accessories. And I'll just tip it forward again just so we can have a look. Then we start drilling into the projector itself. Now this is polystyrene, left and right holder, and the projector. In the base of the box, we've got a little bit of a cardboard flap. Now that actually stops the polystyrene from moving around and, and uh, jostling frontwards or back. And the basic manual of the projector. The projector itself is projected, pro protected by some thick bubble paper. Removing that is a sequence of sort of little tabs, I guess, on this uh, obvious yellow tape. Then unfolding it, we get to have a look at the projector itself for the first time. Firstly, and most Obviously, looking at the front, we've got this. This is a blue uh, foam ring to support the uh, optics itself and stop it from moving or chattering in freight. I mean, obviously, people take care, but let's be honest, uh, containerization, things get dropped, um, carriers, all these things don't necessarily uh, look after things as we might hope. So it's good that they have added this extra protection, ensuring that the lamp, sorry, the lens is never going to wobble around. Um, as we remove it, of course, we start. We may as well start here as far as having a look. We've got an infrared sensor on the front. We've got the three-chip LCD logo. What we've got around here is the ring for uh, zoom and a plastic protective cap to ensure that the lens comes, uh, comes with you, no scratches or anything like that. We've got an Epson logo in the middle and then a massive vent, and that's excellent to see. Tipping it forward, we've got a few of the features immediately obvious. The first, and, uh, the first is the lens shift. Now, this gives us the ability to uh, not use keystone or electronic keystone. It uh, enables the lens to be moved quite a significant amount up and down and a little bit left to right. Uh, should this be offset or in a, in a fixed object like a lift, it allows you to tune it very, very well. One thing to mention at this point is how good the optics is for a budget projector. 
Um, typically you can place this anywhere in a room and let the lens and other things sort out the rest. You can have a relatively small image from a reasonable distance back or a massive image if that's what you're going for. Um, looking back, in fact, I'll just spin it round briefly so that we can see it upright. We've got a little bit of information and uh, the emulation of some of the buttons on the remote control. The ability to control uh, zoom, enter, backwards and forwards, all of those types of things from the front. The power button is one worth noting. Uh, it will turn on at one button press, but a double tap is what is required as far as turning it off. So it's a good little, little tip of there. There are some warning lamps here and, and one what well, lights I should say, one is associated with the lamp and the other one is temperature. These are quite obvious. Um, these error lamps, sorry, error lights are also utilised for other internal error codes and will flash in sequence should they need to. You've got HDR, ISF, 3D and HDMI on the front along with a model number. Just over here and behind a, uh, a cover that is accessed only via a screw is the lamp itself. Um, uh, beaming this way through its optics and out. Um, looking at the side, relatively boring other than warning labels and things like that. This side is the other um, lamp, sorry, <laughs> vent associated with its lamp ventilation. And this has a little cover that enables you to access the filter and remove it should it be required. Those filters are relatively uh, easy to, to use. And look, most people through the life of their projector may just vacuum them out or something like that. It's pretty straightforward. The rear of the projector starts to give us a few other things. Firstly, it has inbuilt stereo speakers. Now these are not going to replace a good stereo system, but for those that are utilising this for a portable presentation or a backyard home theatre or just a little bit of fun and not, things to, not taking the sound element too seriously, you can utilise this quite well as just an option as an alternative to a television and it's excellent to see. And typically in those environments, because the projector is close to where you're sitting, you can hear it pretty well. It's got a, seek, a series of inputs and outputs. The first is a USB at the rear to provide power, and this is two, two amps, uh, five volt. That's simply for powering external devices, uh, wireless um, connectivity. Even a Chromecast can be powered from this, should you be utilizing it as something streaming on YouTube or other movies. Um, along from here, we've got um, a, a lock point, that's if you need to secure it, and there's a classic um, version of that. Um, for uh, the, that laptop security sort of things as well. You've got audio output, should you be utilising this as a destination for some of your audio and picture. Above it you've got um, USB, uh, now this is a USB input that you can select for a basic media playback. Service obviously, and then the two rear HDMIs. Most importantly from a control element you've got a trigger out. Now this is a 12 volt, in fact I think it's like 3 to 12 or something like that. It gives the ability to trigger screens, lifts, all of those things from one power up cycle. Below it is RS-232 for obviously uh, two-way communication for control options. In the middle at the back we've got the IEC and if I just tip it forward um, the mounting points associated with um, uh, ceiling mount and other things along those lines. Okay, so uh, Epson's TW7100, 4K, HDR, UHD, uh, look they're claiming 100,000 to 1 contrast ratio, um, it's 3000 lumens, um, it's got a 10 bit HDR processor on board, it's got, um, it's 70 something percent of that um, picture frame something, you know, everybody forgets that. Basically, this lovely projector hits an amazing quality for an amazing price. Put it anywhere, have some fun. This is the 4K projector for you. The TW7100, unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. <laughs>